Sanjay Leela Bansali is among the most well-known Indian directors. As a result, many fans eagerly awaited the news in 2021 that he will be releasing his debut TV series on Netflix. After years of waiting, here are Mandy, the Diamond Bazaar is finally available on Netflix, and it's already garnering a lot of attention for both positive and negative reasons. Hiramandi, a drama that tells the story of courtesans from Hiramandi, a red-light district of Lahore, was a crime committed by SLB, even though they should have cast Rikaji. Hiramandi's courtesans, known as Tawaif in Urdu, represent her spirit. The eight-episode drama follows the courtesans of Hiramandi as they participate in the fight to free India from British rule, telling a story of treachery, sisterhood, the struggle for freedom, and all in between. The show has stunning visuals, and Bansali makes up for any narrative shortcomings with Hiramandi's cinematography. Fans of historical plays will be amazed by this one because every still frame has a striking aesthetic appeal. The story of Fareedin's revenge, who has come to reclaim what was her mother's, is told in the show. This implies that she will have to deal with Malika John, her aunt, who killed Fareedin's mother. Here Mandy's family tree is incredibly intricate. Understanding the courtesan's relationship with the Nawabs also requires some effort. The show makes an attempt to use India's fight for independence from British control as inspiration for the courtesan's quest to escape the kindness of the Nawabs. The show's ending appears disorganized and disjointed, rather than like a calculated attempt to accomplish two goals at once. Manisha Kurala as Malika John and Sonakshi Sinha as Faridin and Rahana gave outstanding performances. Seeing Fardin Khan reprise his role as Wali Muhammad brought back fond memories, but I wish he had received more screen time and a more significant part overall. Because Richa Chetta has so little screen time in the series, her character Lajo is easily forgotten. As the show goes on, we witness more and more of Taj Dar, played by Taha Shabadusha and Alamzeb, Sharman Siegel, reciting poems to each other, which gives the impression that their passion is forced and half-baked. Less of these two characters and more of other worthy characters like Lajo would be greatly appreciated by the audience. The most defenseless character on the show, Vahida, is portrayed brilliantly by Sajida Sheik. Apart from this, Aditi Rao Haidari's portrayal of Biba John is visually stunning. I wish her character had a more satisfying conclusion. Farida Jalal's return to the show as Kadisa Begum, Tajdar's Dadajan, was entertaining to see, and all the youngsters of the 90s would undoubtedly enjoy another memorable moment watching her on screen. In terms of plot, the show is completely unmatched by any previous Bonsali endeavor. The elaborate set designs, which exude grandeur, more than make up for the story's shallowness. Given that this was one of Netflix India's most costly initiatives, viewers had high expectations that weren't met. Hira Mandy is a historical epic that should only be seen once because it is essentially the narrative of the courtesan's escape from the brutality of the males in their immediate surroundings and the start of India's fight for independence from British rule.